New tonight, the chief of Minneapolis police is grading his department when it comes to battling homicides. Chief Randall Taylor spoke with CBS Force Chief Investigator Steve Brown. Steve joins us now here in studio. And Steve, violence is on the minds of many people as we end this year. Absolutely, Bob and Max. With additional homicides in the last 36 hours, Indianapolis is again well above 200 for the year by our count. We're at 221 for homicides. IMPD is quick to point out this is down from last year, but numbers have not returned to much lower pre pandemic levels. So I asked the chief, is this the new normal? Yeah, I, I don't want to say we should expect it. I mean, it's a bit of a reality right now. In law enforcement, we can identify the bad players, right? Those who, who commit violence. We can identify them. We can put good, fair cases on them and get them off the street. If you were to give a grade on the efforts to stem, solve homicides by the department, A through F, what would you give your department? I would say I would probably, I'd probably be at a B from the standpoint of the effort of of all the parties that are involved. When people cooperate, I, I think we do pretty well. But there sometimes is this issue where people don't want to cooperate. I've been out at crime scenes and you know good and well, people know exactly what happened and then they'll tell you right to your face, you know what, you're the cop, solve it. To overcome that issue, Chief Taylor hopes that tens of millions of dollars given to nonviolence groups in the city can promote greater cooperation with police and prevent violence from happening in the first place. Chief Taylor says success to him next year will be if crime numbers come down again. Steve Brown, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Steve.